Hi there. It's been a very, very long time since I made a video. I didn't look it up on YouTube or anything, but it's it has to have been over a year. And um, to tell you where I've been in the past year, it's pretty it's a pretty rough story. I'm glad I didn't record any of it because we had a terrible time. We we found out that the apartment we were living in was the the building was being sold and we had to move and it was a crazy time and everything had to be packed up really fast and my son was finishing middle school and my husband was changing careers and it was just it was just a crazy time. So um a lot has changed. We are now living in a, a great place that we love. Um I had to put my my St. Bernard down. Poor Daisy. She um she was sick and I had to put her down. And um that was tough for me. But uh, you know, things have been going relatively well. I'm here to show you the babies that I have now. As you know, you know babies babies come and go no matter what you do. You always you know, you always want a new baby and then maybe it doesn't turn out to be exactly the way you planned and end up selling it and trying to get a new one and, you know, that happens a lot. Um, but I've really, really honed down to what I like about Reborns and I've really decided on, you know, exactly what I like about reborns and exactly what I'm looking for in a reborn baby so that I don't have to have a lot of that turnover anymore. I really, that really bums me out when I just lose interest in a baby and it's, it's not for any particular reason. It's not that the doll is not a beautiful doll. It's just, I've really decided that I like very expressive babies. Um, this is Penny. She is a Jenny kit by Alicia Toner. I brought her to the Rose Show and she was just a hit because um, she's a very hard kit to find. She's Down syndrome and it's just very, very slight in her features. But um, I, I just love her. She is just an absolutely beautiful doll. Very expressive, very happy. I can't look at her without smiling, really. She's just gorgeous. And of course, my Luke, my beautiful Luke, he looks just like my son when my son was six months old. And um, I, I just, I love him and he's very expressive. And then I have my Vince kit over here. Her name is Madeline. And uh, she is extremely expressive. <laughs> Look at that smile. She is such a doll. She, uh, I didn't mean that as a, I didn't mean that as an insult, sweetheart. Um, she's a, she's a newborn size, newborn to um, three months. She wears, you know, zero to three month size clothes, and she has full legs, which I love because I can just put her in a in a onesie. Luke also has full legs, which is really, is really a. a great selling point for me at this point you know just trying to figure out what it is I love about reborns and trying to figure out you know where I want to go from here and what babies I want to add to my collection so that this is my my bedroom my doll room this is where Luke sleeps it's always been his special bed and uh, over here I have um, my a girl for all time dolls this is Tilly and this is Amelia, and it may come as a surprise to a lot of you who have subscribed to my channel, I got rid of all my American Girl dolls. Um, I really, really like A Girl For All Time so much more. They fit in the accessories for American Girl so much better. Um, and they bend at the knee and the elbow, which makes them more poseable, which I really, really like about them. So I, I really kind of, I've got, I got turned on to this brand of doll, and again, it's just taught me what it is I look for in dolls, and what it is that I want in a doll for my collection, which, you know, it's important. Up here, all my raggedies, my raggedy ends. Oh, way out of focus. Whoa. There we go. 
Raggedy Ants are just piled in there. I have to arrange them a little better. I see, I see a beloved Belindy smiling through. <laughs> She's great. My Barbies are here. Again, the mobility of the made-to-move Barbie just turned me on to Barbie all over again. I just, uh, I, I just had to have all of them. In fact, I still have two more to collect. I got one of the curvy girls, that, that lovely lady with the blue hair. Um, I would love it if she was more articulated because she's got a great body. In fact, I named her after me because she's, she's chunky. <laughs> more to squeeze. And down here is my BJD doll. Her name is Violet, and she's a Make It Mine doll. Um, she's got a, a nice fluffy pink wig on. I love that you can change the wigs and the eyes on those dolls. And I think she is having, she's having tacos and nachos tonight. I guess she's going to tuck in with a book. And um, even though I got rid of my American Girls, I, I kept the, um, the furniture because... It really fits the A Girl for All Time dolls very, very well, and uh, and I like it. It's it's good quality furniture. This is where my other babies sleep, and um, I have a, a Bisque Bilo baby there, which I love. I think she's beautiful. And um, Suki is my, uh, she's a Gotts doll. And she doesn't have a reborn body. I'd love to figure out how to put her on a reborn body, though, because I just, I love her face. <laughs> She's so pretty. And Duffy, my, my Disney World bear. So then we come over here, and here's Clementine, my other girl for all-time dolls. And up here, Matilda is at Stefan's farm stand. And poor Stefan is banging his head against the thing. Either he's tired and he wants to go home or Matilda's taking too long time <laughs> deciding what she wants to buy. But uh, so that's the doll room. That's the parameter. Back to the bed here and we have um, we have Boris. Now he's my newest and he's kind of a secret. My husband has a thing about me having uh, fantasy dolls. Like he, he's like, no vampires, no zombies, none of that. That's scary. That's creepy. No, no, no. So um, he doesn't really know that Boris here is is uh, hiding a little secret under here. He's got pig feet. He's half human and half pig. We call him the Boar Baby, which is why he got the name Boris. And I, I just love him. He's so tiny, and he's so cute. I have him here on a, on a pig. Uh, this is the Arnold doll from Charlotte's Web. My, my son loved Charlotte's Web when he was little, and so this was his. And I couldn't quite give it up because it was really cuddly. And now Boris has claimed him for his own. And I love, again, he's got a very expressive face. He's crying, but he can stick his fingers in his mouth and soothe himself. And he's just really, he's so sweet. Ooh, I hate it when I go out of focus like that. He's just, he's so sweet. I just love him. And then this is my, uh, this is my Sydney sculpt doll. This is, I, I probably had him the longest out of all these babies here. He was like one of my very first. And um, I've just, he's so beautifully done, like he's so beautifully painted. He's got such incredible modeling and, you know, just the capillaries and everything. He, he's just, he's just so sweet. I've just kept him all along and he can take a modified pacifier because again, expressive face, right? <laughs> I guess that's the way to go for me. That, because these babies, these babies are babies I, I can't ever see giving up. And all their expressive faces, they just, I, I just love them. In fact, I have a Quentin coming, and he's the, uh, he's like a 20-inch baby, and he's an all-out screamer. He's just screaming. 
and uh, I just I, I just love the uh, the expressive faces. You know, I just really have found my niche, I think, and what really makes me happy as a reborn collector are these expressive babies. And uh, you know, that's pretty much the update. Um, we have ducks and bunnies now and we got another dog he's a, a seven-year-old dog that's blind and deaf he's very sweet and you'll probably meet him in upcoming videos and probably meet the ducks and the bunnies too <laughs> but I just wanted to update everybody you know I would be I'd be checking my email and I'd see that another person had subscribed to me and I felt terrible because I wasn't making you guys anything new to look at I wasn't doing any how-to's or updates or new babies or box openings and I really I want to make the commitment that that has changed and that that will definitely be different going forward and I will be more you know relevant and up-to-date and just you know keep you updated on what's going on around right Maggie yeah what a sweet happy baby well that's um that's what's new with me and um, I hope you like this video and I will give you more info next time and thanks for watching.